welcome to Trinop chemistry classes in this video i am going to discuss about the intermediate first year chemistry topic chemical bonding in chemical bonding i am going to discuss about the molecular orbital theory in this molecular orbital theory concept this is the sixth video and in this video i am going to discuss about how to write electronic configuration for molecular orbitals and how what kind of information we are getting this from this electronic configuration regarding the molecule thank you for watching trinop chemistry classes please like the video share and subscribe the channel so manaki previous videos lo what are the postulates of this molecular orbital theory a uh, various postulates in turn to the discuss item jarigindi and ee uh, molecular orbital formation linear combination of atomic orbitals approach dwara bonding molecular orbital anti bonding molecular orbital ee vidhanga form avutnai and uh, bonding molecular orbital yokka energy anti corresponding atomic orbitals kante takkuva ga untundi which in turn stability is ekkuva ga untundi bond anti bonding molecular orbital kante discuss item jarigindi and uh, what are the conditions for the formation of molecular orbitals from atomic orbitals is also discussed then various types of molecular orbitals and their energy level also discussed in my previous videos so ee video lo manam electronic configuration of molecular orbitals ela rayal and ee electronic configuration nunchi ఏ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ వస్తుంది మాలిక్యూల్ కి సంబంధించినటువంటి అన్నటువంటి దాన్ని చూడబోతుంది ఎలక్ట్రానిక్ కాన్ఫిగరేషన్ అండ్ మాలిక్యులర్ బిహేవియర్ బిహేవియర్ గురించి డిస్కస్ చేయబోతున్నాం సో మనకి అసలు వాట్ ఈస్ దిస్ ఎలక్ట్రానిక్ కాన్ఫిగరేషన్ సో ఎలక్ట్రానిక్ కాన్ఫిగరేషన్ అంటే జనరల్ గా కనుక డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ అమాంగ్ వేరియస్ మాలిక్యులర్ ఆర్బిటాన్స్ అమాంగ్ వేరియస్ మాలిక్యులర్ ఆర్బిటాన్స్ వేరియస్ మాలిక్యులర్ ఆర్బిటాన్స్ is called the electronic configuration is called the electronic configuration of the molecule electronic configuration of the molecule the distribution of the distribution of electrons among various molecules various molecular orbitals various molecular orbitals is called the electronic configuration of a molecule so e electronic configuration nunchi మనకి ఏ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ వస్తుంది రిగార్డింగ్ మాలిక్యూల్ యొక్క బిహేవియర్ కి సంబంధించి అంటే కనుక ద ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఈస్ బాండ్ ఆర్డర్ ద ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఈస్ బాండ్ ఆర్డర్ సో మనకి బాండ్ ఆర్డర్ ఎలా వస్తుంది అంటే కనుక బాండ్ ఆర్డర్ ఈస్ ది హాఫ్ ఆఫ్ ది హాఫ్ ఆఫ్ ది నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ electrons in bonding molecular orbitals half of bond order is the half of the number of electrons in bonding molecular orbitals bonding molecular orbitals minus number of electrons in anti bonding molecular orbitals anti bonding molecular half of the half of the half of the number of electrons in bonding molecular orbitals minus number of electrons in anti bonding molecular orbitals for example if nb is the nb is the number of electrons in bonding molecular orbital and ma is the number of electrons in 
anti bonding molecular orbital. Anti bonding molecular orbital. Then bond order is given by bond order is given by half of n b minus n. N b minus n a. So this is the one information we are getting from uh, electronic configuration of the molecular orbitals of a molecule. Electronic configuration of the molecule. Electronic configuration of the molecule. So what is bond order? Bond order is the half of the half of the half the difference between half the difference between the number of electrons present in bonding orbitals minus number of electrons. Number of electrons present in the anti-bonding molecular orbitals. Anti-bonding molecular orbitals. If if n b is if n b is greater than n a, the molecule is stable. N b is greater than n a, molecule is stable. If n b is n b is less than n a or zero, then the bond order n b is n b is equal to n a or n b is less than n a. Then bond order unstable molecule. The molecule is unstable. So this is the one information we are getting from the uh, electronic configuration of molecule. So one is the bond order. Bond order is the half the difference between the number of electrons present in bonding molecular orbitals minus uh, number of electrons present in anti-bonding molecular orbitals. Anti-bonding molecular orbitals. Then second one is nature of the Second one is the nature of the bond. So integral bond order values. Suppose the bond order 1, 2, 3, these are the integral values. So corresponds to the bond order is 1. This is corresponds to but bond order is 1. It is the it is corresponds to single bond. Single bond. If bond order is 2, it is corresponds to bond order is 2. If bond order is 3, it corresponds to the the number of bonds present between the uh, two atoms is 3. So, integral bond orders values of 1, 2, 3 are condor and so on are correspond to the single bond, double bond, triple bond respectively. Double bond respectively. So, this is the nature of the bond. So, whether single bond is present, two, double bond is present or triple bond is present. So, that is the information we are getting from bond order. So bond order is one, then it is single, corresponds to single bond. If bond order is two, it is corresponds to double bond. If bond order is three, it is corresponds to the triple bond, and so on. Then next one is a bond length. And bond order and bond length are related to bond order is bond length is equal to is universally proportional to the bond order. Universally proportional to the bond order. Right. So bond length is generally what is bond length? Bond length between two atoms in a molecule is taken as the approximate measure of the bond length. So the bond order between two atoms, the bond order between two atoms in a molecule is taken as the approximate means of the bond length. Right here, how lower, uh, higher the bond order, lower the bond length. Lower the bond order, higher will be the bond length. Higher will be the bond length. So, bond, or bond length is inversely proportional to the bond order. Bond length is inversely proportional to the bond order. Then, next one is magnetic behavior. Next one is magnetic behavior. So, magnetic behavior means whether the, we can predict whether the substance is diamagnetic or paramagnetic. If any of bonding molecular orbital or Anti-bonding molecular orbital has unpaid electron. Unpaid electron, then the molecule is paramagnetic. Then the molecule is paramagnetic. So after writing electronic configuration, if any bonding molecular orbital or anti-bonding molecular orbital has unpaid electron, the molecule is paramagnetic. So if they if the Bonding molecular orbital, we know that every orbital can occupy two electrons. So this is doubly occupied. If it is singly occupied or contains unpaid electron, 
then it is a paramagnetic force. If any of bonding or anti-bonding molecular has anti-bonding molecular no unpaid electron, the molecule is diamagnetic. The molecule is diamagnetic. If all the molecular orbitals in a molecule are doubly occupied, doubly occupied, the substance is diamagnetic. Substance is diamagnetic. If one or more molecular orbitals are singly occupied, it is paramagnetic. It is paramagnetic. So we know that paramagnetic means which is attracted by the magnetic field. Diamagnetic means which is not attracted by the magnetic field. So we can say whether the given substance is paramagnetic or diamagnetic. Paramagnetic or diamagnetic. So these are the information. So one is regarding stability. And the stability is number of uh, electrons occupied in bonding molecular electrons is greater than number of electrons occupied in anti-bonding molecular electrons. We can say that the bond is, the molecule is stable and uh, if number of electrons occupied in bonding molecular electron is less than the number of electrons occupied in anti-bonding molecular electron, it is less stable. Then this is the regarding stability. Second one is we can say bond order and nature of the bond. Then the third one is bond length and fourth one is magnetic behavior. So these are the four kind of information we can get from the molecular orbital electronic configuration. Molecular orbital electronic configuration. Right? This is the regarding uh, molecular orbital theory. So, how to write electronic configuration? Here, for example, if there are 10 electrons, then sigma 1s, like this we use it to write, sigma, sigma star 1s squared, then sigma 2s squared, Sigma star 2s squared. Like this, we use it to write the electronic configuration for the various molecules. So these are corresponds to the electrons. So based on the number of electrons, so we can say bond order is the half the difference between number of electrons in bonding molecular orbitals and anti-bonding molecular orbitals. And bond length is inversely proportional to bond order. And bond energy is directly proportional to the bond order. And we can say magnetic behavior of the molecules, magnetic behavior of the molecules. Thank you for watching Trinath Chemistry classes. Please like the video, share and subscribe the channel.